वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक दैट इज एड्स विच इज कॉज ड्यू टू द एच आई वी वायरस दैट इज ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डिफिशेंसी वायरस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज एच आई वी एच आई वी हीज ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डिफिशेंसी वायरस एंड एच आई वी इज अ वायरस एच आई वी इज अ वायरस एंड इज अ टाइप ऑफ एन इन्फेक्शन एंड वॉट इज एड्स एड्स मीन्स एक्वायर्ड इम्यूनो डिफिशेंसी सिंड्रोम and aids is in stage not a disease so hiv means a virus which causes the infection and aids is in disease or you can say it is not a disease it is a stage it's an aid stands for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome okay so in this disease the virus attacks the immune system and leaves the body to a variety of life threatening infections first of all what is hiv hiv as i've told you is human immuno deficiency virus once the person is infected with the hiv he is called as hiv positive so however that does not necessarily mean that uh, he has symptoms to feel sick or he has caused aids but he is said to be as an hiv positive person and he can feel and look healthy for a long time after becoming infected right and what is aids aids means it is an acquired immuno deficiency syndrome and can take many years to develop the proper disease eventually what happens the virus can get killed or it can get impaired with more and more cells of the immune system and the body loses the ability to fight these infections such as diarrhea and cold and mainly the person's immune system is hampered so the people with aids can die from the disease that are usually not dangerous for the people with the healthy immune system so hiv is found in uh, can be found in saliva it can be found in tears in the nervous system tissue like this and uh, in the blood in the semen in the vaginal secretions in the breast in the uh, breast milk also and generally it transmits uh, the infection to the others now high hiv can be transmitted it can be uh, transported with the unprotected sex contact that means it can be by vaginal oral or uh, anal with an infected partner next comes the sharing of the unsterilized needles or syringes with an hiv positive person for example when using drugs or during the health setting next comes during the pregnancy or birth or through the bre- during breastfeeding the hiv positive mother when feeds to a baby the baby gets also infected with the hiv last is the blood transfusion with the infected person so through blood or through blood transfusion or the same ne- uh, needle sharing the hiv is transport no transmitted other methods of spreading the virus are very rare like accidental needle injury or artificial insemination or you can say through organ transplantation so students in this session we have seen just an introduction about aids in further session we will have a more detailed look regarding this thank you